Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I've noticed some uh, trends on the internet lately. There's all these videos apparently popping up on TikTok. I don't actually get on TikTok, but people on YouTube have been kind enough to repost them there, as well as on Twitter or X, I guess it's called now, of Gen Z people freaking out because they're finding that they can't afford to survive on their own in the world today. And I've noticed also there's a lot of people that are slinging a lot of hate and judgment on them saying, you know, like, why don't you just uh, get another job? Or maybe if you got married, you know, then you wouldn't have this problem. Or, you know, you're just a bunch of uh, safe space crybabies, that sort of thing. Well, I'm here to say that's a little bit unfair. sticking with us so as i said there's all this stuff popping up people freaking out they're discovering that they can't survive in the real world now that they've uh, graduated from college or whatever or they're adults so they're trying to go out and get a job they're discovering that it isn't enough to pay the bills they can't get good food they feel sick and tired all the time they're already working two jobs people are telling them to get a second they're about to get evicted from their apartment they reach their wits end and so they they make a video post it to the internet hoping that somebody's going to give them some sympathy and say they're there now don't worry about it and instead they get attacked for being some kind of weak sauce gen z person which by the way i guess they're called zoomers is that is that what people call you guys i, I mean who comes up with these names like me you know i'm technically a millennial boy when i discovered that i was i was like no i'm not one of those guys but yes i am um who came up with that? I didn't agree to be called a millennial. I'm sure that nobody in your generation is like, why don't we just call ourselves Zoomers? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's like some place where you mail it in. That's old. Maybe uh, there's like an online place that you get on and on your phone, whatever uh, younger people do now, where this consensus has been reached that this is now Gen Z. And Z being the last of the... Uh, alphabet i guess there's nothing coming though there's already one after that but just the same people are discovering that life is hard and they're getting all kinds of judgment for you know reaching out and saying hey this sucks I, it's not supposed to be this way well i'm here to tell you that it isn't supposed to be that way and that all the judgment is unfair because uh, you know let's take a look at the economy as it is now people today coming of age today are facing problems that people probably didn't face since the days of the Great Depression. And it's a little unfair to just get on there and say, you're just a whiny crybaby, get another job, find a man, something like that. I'm going to adjust this microphone a little bit here. Yeah, that, that's all kind of unfair. Because I know when I came of age, when I reached adulthood, the situation was completely different. Um, now, for younger millennials, they didn't get probably to experience any of this except when they were living at home with their parents i remember my first experience getting a car i went into the car dealership they had a jeep that i wanted i had no credit history to speak of and i, I didn't really have much of a down payment and they gave me the jeep i was able to get it no down payment or anything and drive away i mean it, they had to get it ready and all of that but uh yeah I would just walk in and get a jeep same thing happened with my second car i still had the jeep but there was this car that I really wanted that was really cool. At that time, it was really cool. I don't think, I don't know if it's cool today, but uh, it was a, a Volkswagen GTI VR6 Mark IV, really cool car. You know, well, again, to me, that was a cool car. I really wanted one, this hatchback thing, you know, I guess you call it a hot hatch. But anyway, I went in uh, to this dealership that had one sitting there. I actually had a couple of them, but uh, that doesn't matter. I uh, walked in, no down payment, nothing, and voila, I had the car. It was mine. Amazing, right? Try doing that today with no credit history. Or, you know, what, what does it take to get anything these days? Another example of how different things were, I remember I got a little raise at work. I'd gone from like $12 an hour to making like $12.75. I guess an hour, which at the time seemed like a, a great thing, you know, like uh, my early days of working. Like, yeah. Anyway, one day I was at the bank and they're, you know, asking me some questions. I didn't go in there for this purpose, but they just in, you know, conversation asking me about things and the raise at work came up and they're like, oh, well, congratulations. Because of that raise, we're going to give you a $15,000 line of credit to go along with your bank account. 
And it's like, oh, wow, okay. And like, you just sign this thing here and there you go. Now you have this uh, this money available to you if you should need it. Um, try it. Yeah, I, I don't think that happens very often today for people who are new to the credit world or anything like that. But it was not easy. I worked with a guy. He made the same amount as me, twelve seventy-five, something like that, an hour, and uh, he's over there. He's uh, he he with that salary, with that twelve seventy-five an hour, he was able to go out and get a loan, a mortgage on a second home, a two-story brand new house, and uh, yeah, I mean, try doing that today. Try doing that today without having some kind of like super credit. And some kind of, you know, giant down payment, you know, impossible, no way. But that was the world as it was when I was coming of age. So, you know, if you just uh, take a moment to think about how things were in the past and then think about how things are now, you might look at these, uh, these Gen Z people that are coming on the Internet and having these breakdowns with a little bit more understanding. You know, they're coming into the world and they're like, geez, I can't even get food i mean i'm like uh, eating garbage and the uh, the people that run these companies you know they're telling me like eat cereal eat breakfast cereal for dinner and i'm you know doing what i can to get food and i I'm, i don't have enough i feel sick all the time i have no energy and uh, i'm working two jobs i'm still getting evicted from my apartment and i uh, i can't keep going like this this isn't how it's supposed to be and they're right this is not how it's supposed to be the world is supposed to be very different. Now, I, I think that some greedy people got carried away with those crazy loans that I was talking about, like uh, the guy I told you where he's making twelve seventy five an hour and gets a, a, a mortgage on a two-story brand new house, or me walking onto the lot and just getting a car, you know, with no credit history. But just the same, it was so easy. It was like money was just floating in the air and you could just, if you reached out, you could get it. If I was smarter back then, I would have taken that $15,000 and when I first went to China, done something with it to start a business, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. But, well, I, I didn't. I was young and short-sighted, so I, I didn't do any of that. But uh, just think of what you would do if you are a Gen Z person and it was that easy. I'm sure you're smarter than I am. The newer generations seem to know a lot more. They've got it all figured out. Just think of the things you would do if the bank was just like, oh, you make $12 an hour. Here's $15,000. You'd probably be a millionaire, too. I mean, I'm not a millionaire, but you would be a millionaire and I would be a millionaire if I knew what I knew now back then. But, um, well, I didn't, I was uh, too young and stupid to, to know any of that. But yeah, I, you know, I think people are being a little unfair when they start attacking these people like, oh, oh they can't handle the world. It's like, yeah, well, <laughs> you try handling the world today. I mean, you're coming of age and it's like, this is garbage. Oh, and at the same time, you're sitting there in your apartment about to get evicted, you know, eating breakfast cereal. You've got like your Captain Crunch. No, it's not even the Captain Crunch. It's probably like the uh, the Colossal Crunch, you know. You've got to get the knockoff brand because it's it's cheaper. You can't afford hot dogs or anything, so you're just eating this uh, Colossal Crunch without milk because that's too expensive. And uh, you're listening to some YouTube person and they're talking about the economy, Biden economy, Bidenomics or whatever. And they're saying the economy is better than ever. The stock market's through the roof, record highs. And you're like, gee, you know, if the economy is really doing better than ever, uh, what? There, there must be something wrong with me. I mean, why is my life so awful? Uh, it's got to be me, right? No, it's not you. It's everybody. They're, they're just lying to you about the economy. The, the stock market has nothing to do with how well you're doing or anyone else is doing, except for people that invest in the stock market or these big companies that have, you know, more money to work with now. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything for you. And especially if you consider inflation. So what? <laughs> they're going up in value. Oh, my gosh, they're worth so much more. Well, that doesn't mean anything if, you know, you account for inflation. They should be because the uh, the dollar is being, you know, inflated. So, yeah, that, that's uh, that's kind of the reality of it just hang in there. Uh, maybe things can get better. We'll have to see. But um, it won't get better until people open their eyes and realize, yeah, there's something wrong here. And no, it's not your fault. So I just thought I would share that, uh, my two cents about the millennial, or, well, younger millennials, and probably millennials my age too, and Gen Z, Zoomer people freaking out about how difficult life is right now. It, it is difficult. It really is. But things can get better. Hang in there. We'll see you guys in the next one. ไหวพระวงค์